the guilty one. The only thing I ever thought was dysfunctional about my dysfunctional family was the fact that I didn't have one of those sweet Walt Disney grandmothers that baked you cookies and gave you money. Age 10. Dominique, you and Juicy better bring your asses in this house. Why we gotta come in the house for? Everybody else still outside? Grandma, you always gotta ruin the fun. Age 20. Dominique, I'm turning back on watching my stories. No, you wasn't, Grandma. You was asleep. Shut the hell up. Shit. You better give me that goddamn remote. Dami, you hungry? Here, yes, have some of my Chinese food. You hungry? No, that's all right, Grammy. You eat it. No, here, take it. Take it, Dominic. Eat it. Eat it, Dominic. I said I'm not hungry, Grandma. Damn. So angry that when a social worker said to me, you don't want your grandmother to have to go to a nursing home, do you? I felt you listening for an answer, so I just struggled my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Trapped in a house by your cancer and that fucking oxygen tank and I couldn't take it. Now the memories, both good and bad, make me feel guilty. I cry and grasp for air, breathe, I can't. I leave your sweatpants untouched on my dresser. I can never wear them as long as they continue to smell like you. Ooh, Dami, your hair look real pretty like that. What, you got a hot date? No, Grandma, no. <laughs> was I too detached now to notice that maybe you constantly offering any food you had was your peace offering, your way of saying sorry, so when you told me I was pretty, that was you being your best grandma, Walt Disney, wasn't it? And I disregarded you? Breathe? You can't? But most in my heart, when I think about how many times you must have held your pee in, scared to disturb me, I would huff and puff and suck my teeth as I put you there like a doll in a wheelchair. As I rolled you to the bathroom, I stopped in front of the mirror, and the mirror would reflect your sickness, and I didn't stop to consider how this must have made you feel, or what if... What if I did it on purpose? One, two, three, four... The number of seconds you had to see what death looked like as the Grim Reaper declared war on my arch. And you breathe, you can't. I hate myself. My mind lends thoughts that maybe I'm not as good of a person as I thought. Maybe I'm a fraud. And the ghost of my past will forever haunt thee. That Ebenezer, that Scrooge in me. If I don't confess to everybody at Pace University, they got a streak inside me that's so mean. And I don't think that's be fitting their homecoming queen impeach me. How can I advocate for girls raped in the Congo? I don't even know when forced child marriages and sex trafficking, but when my own grandmother was here and suffering, I wasn't helping. One, two, three, four. The number of times I went to visit you in a nursing home, rehearse to work, school, always on the move, but now I just want to go back and play that extra game of Rummy Cube or Dominoes or whatever you want. Please, let's just go back. I'll be better, I promise. Grandma? I'm, I'm sorry I was mean and wasn't a good granddaughter. I'm so sorry if I ever hurt you. What? You act like that on purpose? No. But sometimes when I get mad, I can't see past the red. I set things on fire. I scorch. I devour. I ain't pay your ass. No mind. She sure did know how to ease your mind. I, I love you. I love you, Grandma. And that day, you were your best grandma, Walt Disney, kissing me on my cheek affectionately. And I know she wasn't mad because she just kept holding me tight and still saying she loved me. She still loved me back. Wow. Yeah.